Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you hear any noises, this little one has been very stressed this morning and I don't know why. <laughs> she won't stop barking. So anyway, she's just she's just in a mood. I'm gonna be taking you through a day in my life today. Um, we have a pretty slow day actually because I don't have very many clients today. So I walk dogs professionally as kind of one of the <laughs> many things that I do. Um, and usually I'm like running from house to house, especially around lunchtime. But today I really just have two sets of dogs that I'm taking care of. So um, I figured today is the perfect day to vlog because I can like do some fun things. And I think we're gonna take that one right there to the dog park later. It's like 10.30 in the morning. I'm gonna be making a crock pot meal for dinner. So I need to start it like probably 30 minutes ago. So I'm gonna show you what I'm making because it is the most delicious recipe on the planet. When I went to make this recipe, I thought I had all the ingredients, but I quickly realized I did not. So I didn't have a beef broth. So I'm just making a chicken broth out of uh, water and one of these chicken broth cubes. So this recipe is steak and noodles. So this is the steak portion, portion. it's just stew meat. Um, and you can mix it in either a bowl or really the fastest way is to stick it in like a gallon Ziploc bag. I just didn't have one, so I'm mixing it in a bowl. I'm gonna put some flour on it. Uh, recipe calls for a quarter cup. I had a little bit more than the two pounds of meat that it requires, so I did a little bit more than a quarter cup. This is just how I roll, guys. I fly by the seat of my pants. I will put the recipe for this meal in the description box below for you guys. My meat was still kind of frozen because I didn't thaw it out. I didn't give it enough time to thaw out. Welcome to my life. This is just how I am. Okay, when I first started making this, I thought I had everything. I realized I didn't have beef broth, so I just am making a chicken broth out of one of the little cubes that I had. And now I'm realizing that this recipe also calls for onion soup mix, and I do not have onion soup mix. So I'm gonna Google, see if the, like what it's made of, and I can kind of make something of my own, we'll see. Okay, dry onion flakes, beef bouillon granules, which I don't have, onion powder, parsley, celery seed. Okay, well, we're gonna do our best. So I don't have dry onion, but I do have a real onion. So I'm just gonna saute that up and we'll add that to the mix. I just got onion juice in my eye. It also calls for celery flakes, for dried celery. I do not have any dried celery. I do have some kind of sad looking celery that I need to use up, so do I saute it so that it's kind of soft? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Real chefs are probably looking at this video and being like, what the heck is this girl doing? See, my thought process with sauteing the celery is that it'll take some of the moisture out. And I'm feeling like this is gonna be a little too much moisture since the onions that I'm using are not dried. And now the celery that I'm using are not is not dried. So I probably need to use a little bit less broth than the recipe calls for. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> We 
basically replaced the dry onion flakes and basically replaced the celery flakes. The other things it calls for is beef bouillon granules. Don't have that. Onion powder, don't have that. Parsley, I do have that. We're just gonna add this to our little mixture here. That looks about right. The next thing is paprika. I do have that. Mine is smoked paprika, which in my opinion just makes it better, right? Okay, and the last thing that's an onion soup mix is black pepper. We got this. Next, you're just gonna brown your beef. You want it on a really high temperature because the point is just to get the outside browned. You don't need to get it cooked all the way through because the crock pot will do that for you. Now I'm adding my makeshift onion soup mix, a little bit of garlic, some tomato paste, and Worcestershire sauce into my broth mixture. Look who decided to show up while mom was cooking. we cross our fingers and hope that it turned out okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the mess I made. I did a pretty good job of cleaning up as I went, as I was cooking today, but I do have a dishwasher full of dishes, so we're gonna clean this up. All right, so I got the kitchen cleaned. And I'm gonna make myself another round of iced coffee. So I drink iced coffee kind of all day long. I try to limit it to like two, sometimes three cups a day. Um, but I usually make it at home. Sometimes I do go out and get a coffee from like a shop because that coffee is just so much better. But I'm gonna make my own right now and I'll show you guys how I make it. Okay, so my cup has a little bit of leftover coffee from this morning, but I've got iced coffee that I just made at home. This brand of cold brew is delicious, but it's pretty pricey and I just would rather make it at home. So I brew um, coffee and just pour it into here to store in the fridge. This stuff is delicious. The hazelnut is our personal favorite. We also really like the, there's a caramel, caramel pecan or something like that, and that one's really good too. Um, we tried the pumpkin one, but it was like, okay. It wasn't the best. A few pieces of ice. There you have it. All right, so I've got my fancy schmancy lunch here. I typically meal prep all of our lunches just because then Brian can take his to work and I just eat it out of a container and it works for us. It makes it easy because then I don't have to plan a lot for lunch. I don't have to like completely dirty the kitchen again to make lunch. So I just realized I never told you what this is. So this is rice, ground beef and ground turkey mixed together with, um, like a chili lime seasoning that I got from Trader Joe's and roasted bell peppers and onion and then obviously avocado and a big glob of salsa on top. Hi, I was calling to see if I could get in for a manicure sometime around one today. Uh, what kind of manicure? Um, a dip. dip? Yeah. Okay. Lauren? Lauren? Yep. Awesome, thank you so much. So I'm shooting a commercial for Hallmark tomorrow and they want me to get my nails done, so uh, gonna 
make these little things look a little prettier before I open cards in a commercial or whatever they have me do. So I'm walking over to my neighbor's house. They are one of my uh, dog walking clients I take care of. Their names are Bo and Max and they are seriously the cutest dogs. They're so sweet and they like play together so well. It's adorable. All right, I'm back from the nail salon. I just did a super natural pink color and now we are ready to go to the duck park. So I'm chopping up a mango really fast as my pre-workout snack because I'm gonna be running at the dog park and I thought I'd show you how I did it because I don't know if everybody knows this little hack. So you cut the mango like on each side like so and then with each of the halves that you get, you just kind of score it I don't know if you can see that very well. I'll show you here in a second. And then, then you go across like this. So then you have like these little pieces. And then I just kind of go around the perimeter like this and cut the little cubes that you made out. I feel like mangoes are kind of the forgotten fruit. Like nobody thinks about them or talks about them, but they're so delicious. We eat them all the time and we're kind of getting towards the end of mango season, but all summer they were like on super sale at Sprouts every time I went. So I would like, we've been eating mangoes like crazy for the last couple months. I better take this little one on a potty break since she doesn't go to dog parks. She would hate it. <laughs> She always goes in this tiny kennel. This is Chloe's kennel, but Nova always goes in here. Hey Nova, you wanna go to the dog park? You wanna go for a ride? You ready, Nova? She knows where she is and she's super pumped. <laughs> I had to put my hair into like a low ponytail because my head starts to hurt. If I have my hair in like a really high ponytail or a bun or whatever, it makes my head ache if I do it for too long. So I knew if I was like running and bouncing um, here at the park, I'm gonna have to put it in a low ponytail. I feel like I look like, I don't know, like a pilgrim or something with my hair like this, but gotta do what you gotta do. Ready, Nova? Come on, girl. Good goofball. So they have little dog bowls with water in it. Outside of the coffee shop for you. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my crock pot meal. I'm gonna switch the temperature to high. This isn't what the recipe calls for, of course. But um, I didn't get it started till 11. And it's supposed to go for eight hours before you put the pasta in. And I think the pasta has to go for like 20 or 30 minutes. So eight hours from 11 is 7 p.m. plus the 30 minutes for the pasta. I don't wanna be eating dinner at 7.30. I wanna eat dinner before then. So I'm just gonna put it on high for a little bit and hopefully it'll cook a little faster. So as you can tell, I do not follow the rules of the recipe very well, which is why I'm not good at baking because you actually have to in baking, but it's kind of a principle that I live by when it comes to cooking, is you don't have to have like every perfect ingredient on hand because you can make do with what you have. You know, if you don't have the right ingredients, don't go out to the grocery store and buy something, make it work, you know? Saute some celery, cause you know, that's a thing. <laughs> you know, whatever, just make it work. And the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't taste good. And honestly, even then you can usually fix it like with some cheese because we all know 
cheese covers a multitude of sins. So, you know, your chicken and rice is a little dry, add some cheese. Your pasta lacks some flavor, add some cheese. The soup is kind of bland, add some cheese, you know, just throw cheese in it. If it doesn't taste good, it'll probably fix it. But um, I think it'll turn out okay. All right, so I'm getting in my car because I have to go take care of a couple Great Danes that I'm house sitting for. Um, gotta give them their evening walk and their dinner. And then their owner told me that she has a, like a worker coming over this evening, sorry. Um, so she needs me to be the house while he's there. So um, I have not had time to shower, which I know is so gross. I don't even know why I'm telling you that. Um, and I wouldn't really care if I was just going over there to walk them because I'm gonna get sweaty probably walking them anyway, but there's someone coming over and I'm kind of like, sorry, but it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm back home and it's 6.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles into my beef. I am so hungry right now, you guys. It's taking everything in me to not like raid the fridge and just eat a ton of stuff. you hate when these things come apart. I cannot get it back together. <laughs> you guys could hear that phone call, but that was Brian telling me he's gonna be late getting home. So I'm going to take this time to relax for a little bit, sit in bed. I'll probably try to fold some laundry. I think I have some in the dryer that needs folded. So I'm gonna do that and watch some Netflix for a little bit. moment of truth it is done at least I think I'm gonna try and see if it tastes as good as the normal recipe that's super yummy I mean it would have been more flavorful if I would have had the beef uh, broth but still super yummy. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.